Hi guys, Martin here with a first look at the tentatively titled Next Car Game from Bugbear Entertainment. Uh, these are the same guys that brought us Flat Out and more recently Ridge Racer Unbounded. This is their latest project though, developed through crowdfunding as a spiritual successor to Flat Out. Uh, it was recently on Kickstarter, but they unfortunately had to cancel it when it failed to reach their target funding. Uh, what you're seeing here is actually a playable technology demo that was sent out to everyone who pre-ordered the game. It's essentially an open playground, really, full of toys to show off the damage modelling, which, as you can see from the carnage on display here, is really rather advanced. This should really be a familiar sight to anyone who's played the original Destruction Derby games back in the day. It's a sort of gratuitous destruction that's very lacking in uh, most modern racing games these days. I've actually set this to the uh, maximum number of cars here. There's actually 24 cars on screen at once, which is quite an achievement when you consider that most modern races of games such as Dirt, Showdown and uh, Grid can only handle around 8 to 12 cars. Just goes to show that just how well optimised this game is, because as you can see there's no slowdown whatsoever. Although then, then again this is a technology demo and there's not any environment, environment textures for it to handle. So we'll have to, see, uh, we'll have to wait and see in the final game. Giant spider there, don't worry, I will have a go on the giant spider at some point. Parging into the other cars there. This is the game that Bugbear have always wanted to make. They wanted to make a game in the vein of Destruction Derby again. But the publishers just didn't see a market for it, so they didn't allow it. Uh, this is why they've now had to use crowdfunding to publish it independently. Uh, it's currently planned only for PC. But a PS4 and Xbox One port is planned, provided they can get enough funding. So at this point I thought I'd stage my own crash test, starting with 30 miles an hour head on into a wall. Let's just uh, survey the damage there. Very nice. Try that again. Ooh. Very heavy impact. Ah, one more time, why not? Ooh, that is properly dismembered. Uh, I call that a write off. If this was an end cap crash test, maybe two star safety racing? I don't know. <laughs> so the rest of this video is really just going to be a tour of the uh, various tools of destruction at my disposal. So I get thrown into the air by a giant spring. Uh, this is actually a great example, actually, how far the damage building has come. You can see the front is just dislodged, and now the car has been completely flattened on impact. It's all part of what Bugbear calls soft body deformation. Uh, whereas most games you damage your car, it's usually just paint scratches or predetermined texture changes, that sort of thing. Uh, here, however, it just, this just takes it to the next level. The car will actually deform dynamically at the exact point of impact. It's absolutely incredible. Completely failed that jump. Right, now we're just approaching a giant ramp through the barriers. Of course, no flat out game is complete without uh, destructible objects all over the track. It looks like that will be making a return in uh, the final game. This is going to be a hard impact. Oh! Yeah, there's no recovery from that, is there? Uh, I should point out, actually, there is, there is a reset button in the uh, tech devils. So that's why the car just magically repaired itself. I like I like the physics. Um, actually, it reminds me it reminds me very much of Driver. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of weight to the cars, uh, which I think was lacking in Flatter actually. And what this means is, in, during the crashes, the car is much less likely to land on all four wheels, which is much more realistic. So so far, a very good job on the handling. It's very responsive, and uh, oh, flying into the uh, imaginary cardboard boxes there. Onto the high jump now. Oh, this is going to be a big impact. 
Again, the sheer volume of objects just scattered. It's incredible. Again, all the all the uh, objects shoot across the track as you as you saw. They have their own independent physics. Uh, Flat out was very renowned for that. Actually, wasn't it? I remember always when you when you smash into the tires, they'd then be strewn across the track, and they'd never disappear when you were uh, went on the next lap. Oh, I love the way the the front end just caved in there, the wheel buckled. That a very realistic rollover. So just testing the environment destruction now. Of course in most racing games you crash into a building and it's just a solid object. Not so in next car game as you can see as I bash through the buildings. Eat your heart out Frostbite 3. Ooh a hammer. This is going to end well. Just how much punishment can this car take? Of course this is probably Jamie Clarkson's weapon of choice. Door just flung open, so the, at least the panels do open. We can see that. Yes, yeah, sl slightly exaggerated. You'll notice that there's a lot of debris uh, on, in the crashes. I, f I think that, that that is what's sorely lacking in a lot of uh, racing games these days. You have a crash, and there's just no spectacle uh, to the impact at all. Of uh, this, I mean, how much debris, how much more debris do you want? <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely spectacular. If anything, it's probably a little exaggerated for the purpose of the uh, tech demo. Um, ironically, <laughs> despite how damaged the car gets, you can still drive it no matter what. So they're, bound to, they're obviously bound to tone that down in the uh, final game. But uh, in a little turntable there, again, car absolutely damaged beyond recognition. Chassis is completely bent. And I managed to repair it again. Good stuff. Ooh, let's, let's play a spotted basketball now. Ooh, four points. And into the car crusher we go. And that is all that remains of uh, my car now. Of course, a lot of people have been comparing this actually to uh, Beam NG Drive. It's a kind of sandbox game, again with uh, very impressive soft body deformation. Um, in a way, it's actually Beam NG Drive is actually a little bit more realistic in terms of how the cars crumble on their uh, impact. But there's just no spectacle, um, as I mentioned earlier, there's no spectacle in the crashes in that, there's no debris. But this then is very much, I'd say, a more arcade game. Uh, whereas BMG Drive obviously strives for realism. It's a shame you can't combine the two, really. Fishy, I think it's looking very good. Um, obviously, there's no, there's no, there's not much in the way of environment here. There's no environment textures we can analyse, but the detail on the car is very good, though. Uh, you can see all the exposed rust, uh, the tyre tread, the skid marks. Um, it looks like a proper banger racer. I think that's what I like the most. It looks like a proper banger racer with, like I said, with rust. In Flat Out 2, they kind of went the other way and included lots of road street racing cars, probably again from the, as a result of the demands from the publisher. Whereas this, they obviously have free reigns to do whatever they like, and in this case, they've gone back to their roots, and I like that. More environment destruction, smash into a pillar. It does make you wonder how they'll utilize this in the final game. How destructible will the tracks be in conjunction with all the car racing action?
Oh, giant spider time. I told you I'll have a go on the giant spider, and there it is. <laughs> I think the giant spider won that. Uh, there's only three cam reviews available in this. Uh, you've got an external cam. Uh, there's also another external cam where you can uh, freely move the camera around. And then there's also a free camera. I hope they take that. I hope they make that a bit more advanced in the final game to the point you can set up your own camera angles. Uh, but there will, however, be a cockpit camera in the final game, which you don't see here, unfortunately. I think this is the ultimate test of destruction, though. How about driving through a automated car crusher? There's not much car left, is there? Uh, this is the f my final test of destruction, though. Uh, here I am, precariously driving up uh, a ramp, uh, knowing that if I fall off, it will be certain death. So cautiously going around the corners. Honestly, doing my best not to fall. That's obviously the last thing I want to happen. last thing I want to do is see my car get uh, completely destroyed. And uh, Oh, too late. No. No, that's bad. Oh dear. Oh no. How am I going to explain this to the insurance? Yeah, at this point I, I thought I'd change to the uh, free cam because it, it just got so chaotic I couldn't follow the car. But... Uh, <laughs> oh... I could watch this all day, honestly. It's like car pinball. They can, they can make a mini game out of this. What was my car reduced to scrap metal? How is it even still working though? It doesn't even have an engine anymore. But uh, on that note, that is next car game. Uh, that's it for now on this video, but there will be a follow-up to come soon.